Let's solve this together. It says d cubed plus d is equal to 10. Okay, how do we solve for d in this question? First thing we can do here is to factor out d. So we have d into d squared plus 1 is equal to 10. Okay? Now 10 is 5 times 2, right? So we can say that if we put, um, put 10 as 5 times 2 here and equate it to this, what does it give? d into d squared plus 1 is equal to 2 times 5 or 5 times 2, okay? Now, looking at this, we can say, let 2 be equal to d, for example. Let's take it for we get 5 here. So we have that this is 2. If d is 2, this is 2 squared is 4 plus 1, 5. Hence, we can conclude that this implies that d is equal to 2. Alright? Now, if d is equal to 2, as the first answer, okay, the, if the answer has left are remaining 2 because the highest power of d here is 3, okay? But this is the only real answer we're going to get, unfortunately. This is the only real answer we're going to get for this equation. But let's go ahead and get the complex answers for this equation. Now, if d is 2, we can conclude from here that, therefore, d minus 2 is equal to 0, okay? This is a factor. d minus 2 is now a factor. It was equal to 0, okay? Now, we can now say that, recall that we had d cubed plus d is equal to 10, okay? Now you can bring it back again, and we'll write it like this. We'll write d cubed. The next thing that will follow is d raised to power 2. So we have, we don't have any d raised to power 2, so we put plus 0, d raised to power 2. Okay, now plus d, plus d, minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, now we are going to divide this by d minus 2. Okay, so we'll divide this by d minus 2 and check what we get d cubed divided by d is d squared, okay, d squared times d is d cubed, and minus 2 is minus 2d squared, okay, subtracting this becomes plus 2d squared, 2d squared divided by d is plus 2d, 2d times d is 2d squared, times minus 2 is minus 4d, only subtract, okay, Recall that this, we we'll now subtract this, so we have d minus, minus 4d is what? Plus 4d, which is, which will give us 5d here. We can now bring down this 10 here, so we have minus 10, okay? 5d divided by d is plus 5. d times 5 is 5d. And two, minus 2 times plus 5 is minus 10. When we subtract, this gives us zero, okay? Hence, the quotient of this is d squared plus 2d plus 5. What does this mean? This means that our second factor for this equation is d squared plus 2d plus 5, okay? So what we're going to have is this. Now, moving on from here, you can see that we have d minus 2 into d squared plus 2d plus 5 equal to zero. And you're asking me, oh, fortune, why did you write it like this? The reason is because when you divide the polynomial, by a factor, we remember that we said that this was a factor before. When you divide a polynomial by this factor, you should get another factor. Given that you you don't have any remainder, so when we divided, we had zero as the remainder, and we had this, meaning that this is the second factor. Okay. Now, when two things are equal, to, when two things are equal to zero, is that the first one is equal to zero or the second one is equal to zero? If we the first one is equal to zero, we have that d minus two is equal to zero. So this implies that d is equal to two. Let's call this D1, just for starters, all right? Now, D1 is equal to 2. Now, let's co um, correspond our answer with the second and third answers for this equation. So, we have D squared plus 2D plus 5 is equal to 0, okay? Now, we are in the quadratic formula to solve this, okay? What does the quadratic formula say? The quadratic formula says that when we have um, D here, it will become equal to minus B plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, okay? For our d here, we have that if d or b, okay? So we have b here now, is the coefficient of d here, which is 2. a here is the coefficient of d here, which is 1. And c here is a constant 10, which is 5, okay? So how about our d is equal to, we have minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 
4 times 1 is 4 times 5 is 20. Okay? All over 2a, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. So this is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of negative 16 all over 2. This is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of negative 16 is 4i. Okay, all over 2. Okay, now moving on from here, we have that our d here is equal to minus 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 plus or minus 4 divided by 2 is 2i. Okay, so these are d2 and d3. Okay, so the first answer is that d1 is equal to 2, and the rest of the answer is that d2 and d3 is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i. Okay. These are the answers to this question. Thanks for watching. What's going on, guys? It's watching your edits in this video. As you can see, about 99% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So please subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos. As this helps to push my videos out to more viewers out there. The more you subscribe, the more viewers can see my videos, the more we grow in this community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.